Now we will look at how to design an address plan for a simple campus. We will be using our campus from the fiber pricing exercise. As you can see on the screen, we have six buildings with a server land and a core and border router. The following table shows you the host allocation for each part of that campus. As you can see on the screen, the border router to core router contains two devices and so on to the wireless network, which contains 350 devices. The university will be using the following IP address space, 2001 colon db8 colon 8 slash 48 for its IPv6 address block. You will now use this address blocks to design an IPv6 address plan for the campus. So how are we going to do this for IPv6? We're going to repeat the same thing that we did previously for IPv4. Remember, only now that the subnet size is slash 64. Remember, the smallest prefix for IPv6 is a slash 64, so this is very easy. So as you can see on the screen, we're going to show you the same table that we showed you previously with the number of devices. Water to core router, you have two devices. Remember, you're allowed to use point-to-point -point links in IPv6. Everything else gets a slash 64. You can see that the server network, which has 23 devices, all the way to the wireless network, which has 350 devices, all get a slash 64. Remember that the campus gets a slash 48 prefix. So we're not going to think like IPv4 when we design our plan. Now remember that the prefix allocated was 2001 colon db8 colon 8 colon. We're going to use xxyy double colon slash 48 as the template for assigning IP addresses. xx can be used to count functions. This gives us a total of 256 slash 56 in the campus and we're going to use yy to be used to count subnets within that function this gives us another total of 256 slash 64 in that function each function might be a faculty or a building or core infrastructure so we're going to do this by allocating what slash 56 for campus network infrastructure this gives us two 156 possible slash 64s for campus network infrastructure. We'll be using one slash 64 for the point-to-point -point link. We'll use another slash 64 for the servers. We're also going to be using one slash 56 for each building. This gives us 256 possible slash 64s within each building. But we only have one land per building in this example, so we have plenty of room to add more in future. And now let's assign the address blocks accordingly. Remember that we said we're going to reserve a slash 64 for campus network infrastructure. This would mean the border router to core router and the server network. So the first X, remember the template we're using, X, X, Y, Y. So the first one we're going to be assigning is for the border to core router, which will assign the prefix 2001 colon DB8 colon 8, colon 0, 0, 0, 0, double colon, slash 64. This is going to be the point-to-point -point link, the border to core router, and then we'll assign the prefix 2001, colon db8, colon 8, colon 0, 0, 1, 0, double colon, slash 64 for the server network. Remember that the border router to core router and the server network are within the same slash 56 prefix we're going to assign the next one to the science building remember we said each of the buildings get a slash 56 so in this case we're going to use the prefix 2001 colon db8 colon 8 colon 0100 double colon slash 64 for the science building we're going to use the next one for the arts building which is 2001 colon db8 colon 8, colon 0, 2, 0, 0, double colon, slash 64. We're going to use the next one for the arts building, which is 2001, 
colon db8 colon 8 colon 0200 double colon slash 64 and so on all the way to the wireless network which is going to be assigned 2001 colon db8 colon 8 colon 0 8 0 0 double colon slash 64 we see that when we're using IPv6 address plan, it's way easier. We're using the nibbles in the IPv6 address to indicate the function. Remember, nibble is 4 bits, so each character in the IPv6 address represents 4 bits. So you might do this like we did. For example, you might do this for 2001 colon db8 colon 8 colon x y double z double colon slash 48 where x will be the faculty this will give you a total of 15 faculties and you can use y for the department which will also give you 16 departments for faculty and you can use double z for the LAN, which will give you 256 per department in this case x equals zero is for the campus backbone infrastructure there are many other variations on the steam that you can use but the use of the nimble to indicate function makes it easier for address planning